You're watching Telecom TV from SDN World Congress 2016. And I'm joined now by Nick Lemieux, who is Director of Information and Communications Technology, NFE SDN at Canonical. Nick, thanks for joining us on Telecom My TV. My pleasure. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Now, we're going to be talking about the role of the telco cloud on the path to 5G. Before we do, though, telco cloud means different things yeah. to different people. So, are we talking about a, a, a convergence of services in a hyperscale environment, or are we talking about a, a, a distributed cloud where operators can deploy mm -hmm. services you know, as and where the customers need them, or was it a combination of the two? Yeah, I truly think it's a combination of the two. So when you look at the service provider, you know, when you look at the central office, highly distributed, uh, you know, smaller, uh, basically, environment that are not necessarily meant to, to scale out. Uh, but at the same time, uh, those operators are centralized uh, data center where, uh, you know, like big data type uh, workload where uh, the scale is needed, um, you know, it's also available for, uh, for running the service. Yeah. Now, when we uh, talk in terms of 5G readiness, um, how can operators use Telco Cloud and SDN NFE adoption to become 5G ready? So I think 5G ready, um, you know, again, there might mean a different thing to different people. From our perspective at Canonical, uh, we're a provider of software infrastructure. So we provide Linux distribution, hypervisor, uh, container, uh, and a set of tools to, to do bare metal, uh, you know, provisioning and also uh, deploy application and, and, and uh, manage the lifecycle management. So. If we look at uh, some of the project for 5G, uh, talking about you know uh, network service store and uh, slicing, uh, and basically uh, you know like some of the the, the the application will become much more transactional, uh, and and I think the edge is going to take much more uh, you know of a role into you know dealing with application that can have latency uh, and need high throughput. So. The, the, the readiness of this is going to still be, are those applications going to be basically, you know, uh, cloud native or distributed application, uh, you know, that are uh, basically uh, leveraging shared, uh, shared storage uh, and, and are distributed, right? So I think uh, the, the, the right answer is, um, the good thing is I think there, there was a lot of learning in the past year. Uh, and, uh, you know, the readiness is going to be, in a lot of cases, uh, you know, about the vendors and uh, where the application stand for cloud, uh, but also basically uh, looking at the deployment type and, uh, you know, the flexibility needed, uh, you know, for deploying 5G and controlling that, uh, that edge uh, compute, uh, you know, with as much flexibility as the cloud, but probably leveraging different technology because the scale-out is not needed. Uh, in a lot of these cases, maybe, uh, you know, uh, uh, basically, virtualization won't be a fit uh, because of the performance requirements, latency, and so on. So, what proportion of your customers' business is running on telco cloud infrastructure today? Would you say, or, or, or an average customer, and how might that change and evolve over the next two or three years? So, at Canonical, I would say like probably more than fifty percent of our business come from telco uh, operator. Uh, you know, we have various of those that are public, uh, publicly available, but uh, so we're really dedicated to that market. So uh, basically we provide, like I said, we provide the core technology of uh, telco cloud. Um, and I think going forward, uh, what we see now happening is, you know, uh, acceleration of uh, basically scale and service deployment. So I think in the past year, uh, people were focused on building uh, the infrastructure, you know, like basically the runtime with Linux and uh, OpenStack is one uh, also choice for virtual infrastructure manager. What we see now happening is people uh, or, or uh, service provider are really looking at better tool to automate on one side the uh, infrastructure deployment, uh, make it a little bit more DevOps ready but also really look at you know, the real deal, which is basically deploying service on top of that infrastructure and uh, be able to basically like, you know, deploy it again at scale with the right automation um, and, and you know, shared operation, basically where uh, you know, the skill needed to run and operate those services are not um, you know, too complex to acquire and basically uh, software, uh, software architecture are used for that. Yeah. Great, Nick, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure.